What if we told you that scientists have discovered a way to edit genes? What if we told you that this technology, called CRISPR, makes it possible for us to carry out all kinds of complex genetic engineering? And with this tool, we may be able to do complex things like eliminating all cancer-causing genes from our gene pool. That's correct. In today's episode of Super Freaky Science, we'll be taking a look at the implications that this technology will have on the future of the human race. And boy, oh boy, it will have loads of crazy implications. Implications that you may never have expected. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Number 10. A cure for cancer? Since cancer was named by the Greek physician Hippocrates, it has grown to become a blight on the human experience. Sure, cancer existed way before Hippocrates, but since we knew what it was, we've searched high and low for a lasting solution to it. And we've fallen rather short. Every year, cancer takes thousands of lives, and that trend didn't look like it would stop anytime soon. Well, until CRISPR. Like many diseases, cancer is caused by an evolution in the genome. Scientists have said that it is very possible that CRISPR would be able to slow the growth of the disease or even eliminate it from the genome completely. This may look like a utopian ideal, but work on this has already begun in China where there are fewer regulations on gene editing. In October 2016, Chinese scientists injected a lung cancer patient with cells that had been modified with CRISPR. The scientists extracted these cells from the patient's blood and then disabled a gene that cancer cells often use to replicate. They hoped that, without this gene, cancer wouldn't be able to replicate normally. If this trial is successful, it will be the first proof that CRISPR can indeed rid the world of cancer. Number 9. Biofuel Applications Plants and algae naturally turn sunlight and carbon dioxide into byproducts. These byproducts are all sources of biofuel that can be used to fuel our industries. But where does CRISPR technology come in here? What role can the tech play in all these? Well, first off, CRISPR has been proven to work on certain species of crops and algae. With CRISPR, scientists can optimise these plants' behaviours and enable them to continuously provide biofuels in large quantities. If optimised enough, these biofuels, like methane, could be the energy sources of the future. Number 8. Bioremediation Today, there's a trash island the size of Bulgaria in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. That island is made up of one thing – plastic trash. Of course, there are other kinds of waste on the island, but most of them are plastic. There's extensive evidence that this sort of pollution isn't just aesthetically despicable, but also poses a real risk to aquatic life forms. The reason why plastic poses such a danger to these life forms is that it's not biodegradable. It simply cannot decompose and could take thousands of years for it to lose its original shape. However, with CRISPR, this may no longer be a problem. The technology could be used to create or bioengineer bacteria species to degrade or consume the compound found in plastic. Scientists have even begun to apply CRISPR tech to microbes that can degrade and consume plastic. Number 7. Reduce the need for pesticides We don't know exactly what causes cancer, however, we know that exposure to toxins like pesticides greatly increases the risks of developing cancer. What if we could create a world where we wouldn't have to use a lot of pesticides to treat our crops? Wouldn't that be a worthy goal? It surely would. And scientists have started exploring ways of using CRISPR to achieve this worthy goal. With CRISPR, we may be able to engineer plants to be more resistant to threats posed by diseases or insects. In recent years, some scientists have turned this from mere potential to actual possibility. For example, CRISPR has already helped in the development of virus-resistant cucumber and fungus-resistant rice. 
It looks that we may be getting a future where we may be able to grow crops without needing to protect them with pesticides. That's a really exciting future. Number six, drought, no problem. Imagine if crops like rice, beans and maize can withstand harsh weather like your regular cactus. That would be crazy, right? It'd mean that farmers wouldn't have to bother about things like drought and, and we wouldn't have to use up most of our freshwater resources on plants. But that sounds like such an impossible dream, doesn't it? However, it may not be. It may be within the realms of possibility. Several studies have already shown that CRISPR may be able to make plants more water efficient. That is, they would need less water than normal and would cost less money to keep alive. That, of course, will reduce the amount of money spent on crops and would, in turn, drive food prices down. Number 5. Reduction of food waste A lot of food gets wasted, not because they're bad, but because they cannot be stored properly. Now, when we say a lot, we mean a lot. In this sense, a lot means over a billion tonnes of food gets wasted globally every year. To be clear, that represents 33% of all food provided for human consumption every year. As you may expect, this is a problem that CRISPR can solve easily. If put to use, scientists say they may be able to stop the rate at which food gets spoilt. That would indeed drive down costs of food preservation and end up making food less expensive. Point is, food in the future may be cheaper than we can even imagine right now. Number 4. The end to malaria? Malaria has been killing thousands of people for eons. The illness killed almost half a million people. Yes, that's 2015. This problem isn't easy to solve, but CRISPR may just be the lightning rod that we've been waiting for. Researchers are presently looking at ways CRISPR could be used to eliminate malaria. One of the ways forward is the reduction of malaria-transmitting mosquitoes. How do they plan on doing that? Well, easy. They'll use CRISPR to genetically modify male mosquitoes so that they produce more male offspring, and then modify female mosquitoes so that they are more likely to be infertile. If the project is successful, we may be looking at the end of malaria. Number 3. HIV could be gone For at least 20 years, the world has been locked in a seemingly endless tug of war with HIV. Contraceptives have seen greater use because of this dreaded virus and millions of lives have been lost due to HIV. However, it seems like the battle has now finally been won. We recently heard of a man who got treated and healed of the virus, and now we can confirm that CRISPR may be our answer to the HIV menace. In 2017, researchers at Temple University and the University of Pittsburgh were able to use CRISPR to cut HIV from the cell it was infecting. This stops the virus from replicating and renders it dead. This technique was tested in three different animal models and the results all showed that it's possible. While human trials haven't yet started, it's not inconceivable to imagine that they'll start in the next few years. And if they're successful, it may just be an end to HIV. Number 2. A future with fewer blind people There are very few disabilities that destroy the soul like blindness. People without eyes end up missing a good chunk of their lives, but that may not need to happen in the future. Lever congenital amaurosis is the most common cause of childhood blindness and, and it affects 2 to 3 per 100,000 newborns. It's an inherited condition and is caused by a mutation in 14 genes responsible for vision. Today, scientists and doctors are working on a CRISPR-based solution to eradicate this illness. By editing these genes and returning them to normal state, children suffering from this kind of illness can regain their sight. Number 1. The editing of embryos Imagine a world where almost no child is born with any sort of genetic defect. Yes, this could include defects like Down syndrome. 
Well, you don't have to imagine such a world anymore. With CRISPR, such a world is just on the horizon. Today, there are a lot of teams working on trying to use CRISPR on human embryos. The fever for this dimension in CRISPR application has grown so much that in 2017, scientists at the National Academies of Science and Engineering and Medicine said that human gene editing was acceptable, but only under certain conditions. While no team has yet tried their hands in this aspect of CRISPR in the United States, research teams in China have already started testing the waters. In 2017, a team of scientists recorded that they'll be able to introduce disease-causing genes to embryos and were able to edit it out. If this tech is developed in the way we think, the future is certainly looking very different. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We have loads of videos like this just for you. See you in the next video.